Friday in the Tom Hartman program, Nate was uh, Googling around for um, uh, FDR stuff, and uh, up pops a, hat, a picture of uh, Stalin wearing a bunny hat, and uh, the logo was the first furry. So we will talk about furries after in just a moment. But um, you know, I mentioned FDR. We've you know, there's been some call for FDR, shall we say? So uh, let me just play four short clips. This will just take about three minutes, and then I'll get back to your phone calls. But this is. You know, I played uh, in the last segment how Republicans used to talk. That was Dwight Eisenhower. This is how Democrats used to talk. This guy was elected president of the United States four times. He died in office four times. It was, it so horrified the Republicans that they passed a constitutional amendment to ban anybody from having more than two terms. This is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. First, he talks about what happens when the billionaires take over a political party and then the party takes over the government. We have to... We had to struggle with the old enemies of peace, business and financial monopoly, speculation, reckless banking, class antagonism, sectionalism, war profiteering. They had begun to consider the government of the United States as a mere appendage to their own affairs. And we know now that government by organized money is just as dangerous as government by organized mob. There you go. <laughs> government by organized money is just as dangerous as organized mob. Here he is warning you explicitly about the Republican Party. And by the way, they're playing the same game right now. You'll recall Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan, right after the tax cut, said, well, we don't have the revenue anymore. We've got to look at entitlements, which means cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Here's, here is Franklin Roosevelt predicting this in 1936. Let me warn you and let me warn the nation against the smooth evasion that says, of course we believe these things. We believe in social security. We believe in work for the unemployed. We believe in saving homes. Cross our hearts and hope to die. We believe in all these things. But we do not like the way the present administration is doing them. Just turn them over to us. We will do all of them. We will do more of them. We will do them better. And most important of all, the doing of them will not cost anybody anything. Franklin Roosevelt uh, ridiculing the Republicans. And, and again, that is what, you know, keep in mind, Donald Trump campaigned. I'm going to insure everybody in America and it'll cost less than Obamacare. I'm going to protect, he said, he, in the Democratic, in the Republican primaries, he stood up there on the stage, he said, everybody on this stage wants to cut Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. I'm the only one who won't. And what's he doing right now? He's trying to cut Medicaid, Mer Medicare, and Social Security. Um, and thus, that was a big lie. Well, in this speech, FDR talked about how the Republican Party had adopted the policies of Adolf Hitler. He says, in Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler said, never tell a small lie, only tell a big lie, and repeat it over and over again. Here's the last part of that clip. I'm trying to keep this short. According to that technique, you should never use a small falsehood. Always a big one. For its very fantastic nature would make it more credible. If only you keep repeating it over and over and over again. And that's exactly what is going on inside the Republican Party right now. And finally, the definition of freedom. The Republicans have, and, and, and the, the libertarian billionaires have hijacked the word freedom. And, and, and they say you're free if you don't have health insurance. You're free if you don't have Medicare. You're free if you don't have Social Security. This is the sales pitch of the libertarian billionaires like the Koch brothers. And D Franklin Roosevelt said the opposite. He said, no, you're not free if you're hungry. You're not free if you don't have access to health care. You're not free if you don't have access to education. You're not free if you don't have a job. Uh, he, uh, if you are necessitous. In other words, if you have needs that are not met and could be met, 
by government. Here is Franklin Roosevelt. Necessitous men are not free men. People who are hungry, people who are out of a job, are the stuff of which dictatorships are made. Yeah, and, and I would say they are the stuff out of which, you know, the Trump administration is made.